All right, I'm up on the roof. I have removed the cover of the air condition, the medic air condition here. And I have my micro air easy start that I'm going to install. I was wondering what's up here. So some people have problems with the fan off. That's because these bolts have come loose. So something you should check. Um, also clean fan blades, make sure they're all good all the way around the back side. This is your comp compressor here, and all the wires coming into that. And you're going to cross here to all the capacitor and the motherboard. So right here is mainly where I'm working, and some of this will come out. Some of this will just be unplugged, but the I'm going to put it over here in the hole, and I'm going to double-sided tape it to the to the side there. So that's the top view, front of the rig, rear. So you can see where I'm going to put it over there. There's a couple things I'm going to drill with my, my bits here, these little rubber grommets, which will be where this wire runs through both the plastic over here on the side and a little bit of metal right here. So I'm going to drill them out with these uh, to make them big enough to put these little rubber grommets in so that way the wire doesn't have any issues. I'll try to video this the best I can. There's no real good place to put the camera up here because the roof's slanted and I don't have my good camera stand at the moment. You can download the wiring diagram from the QR code that comes in the box, but I put a grommet in here, ran this across, I'll zip tie all this together. Also, we ran it up through here, put a grommet in here, this hole right here, and I ran it through. So the blue wire, so the blue wire is the normal part of the AC, the black wire comes with your micro air, so I'd use a three prong, you splice that in. The big white wire coming out of here hooks to the capacitor. The orange wire coming out of here hooks to another part of the capacitor. You gotta disconnect the old capacitors down here. Uh, that's a couple wires down there, but then I'm gonna double side tape this thing back here so it's out of the way. But right now, I'm gonna plug it in and turn on this thing. You have to cycle it five times. There's some instructions in the manual. Turn it on for a few minutes, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, and it learns the cycle of this particular model. So I'm going to clean all my stuff up out of the way, plug it in, and go cycle it on and off a few times. All right, so I'm going to go to zone two, mode, cool, turn it down some, fan auto. So I've got the Hourglass on there, so it's thinking. I hear some relays. So I realized something was off. I uh, turned on the rear air condition, main air condition, and I got the E7 error, which means loss of 120 volt. I'm plugged in outside, nothing's going on there. Check the circuit breaker panel, and I found an issue. Let's go see. So I've got my circuit breaker pulled out because I'm doing a whole lot of work, but if you notice on the cover, it says front AC here, main rear AC or living area AC here. So on my switches, I had the microwave off, the converter on, the rear living area AC on, 50 amp off, on, uh, inverter off, and other outlets off. So this was on and this was off, meaning front AC's off, rear AC's on. But I couldn't get it to work, so I flip-flopped them, and now I realize the rear AC is actually wired to this circuit breaker, so I need to swap these two. And if you've ever wondered what your converter is, it's back there. See all the green lights? That's your converter. Many people have questions about what the converter actually does, and it converts AC power coming in from the shore power to DC power to go power the DC things and recharge your battery. The inverter, which is up front, and I'll remove this one today, the inverter inverts it from DC power back to AC power to power AC things like the air conditioning. So that's why I put the micro air easy start on the main air conditioner, so the 15,000 um, BTU air conditioner. 
it requires a little bit more power to start up, but um, in the 27 foot, it's kind of centrally located right here. So I wanted to use that air conditioned device, the front bedroom air condition. If I were in a 25 foot air, a 25 foot rig, the front air condition would have been fine for me. So um, I put it on the rear one and we'll see how that works out. I may end up going back and putting one on both air conditions just to have the option to use both. But I figured I would mostly use the rear air condition if I was going to use that battery uh, to power it anyway. So that's why I hooked it up on that one. Really, I just wanted to be able to use for Piper if we need to leave her alone or we're somewhere super hot in the last 20 minutes of the trip, I can turn it on to cool the rig down. Um, but rarely, I don't think we'll ever use it. I've been fine without it for this many years, so I think we'll continue to be fine. But since I got the option to put it in, that's what I did. All right, so I've ran the air conditioned for five minutes. Now I'm going to turn it off, and you got to let it sit for five minutes because there's a timer in there that doesn't allow you to restart it within five minutes of shutting it down. So I'm going to shut it down now. Power off, and everything shuts down. So start my clock for five minutes. So while I've got the five, I'm waiting on my five minute timer, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. There's a little cover plate right here. It goes over all these wires and then the big cover goes back on. So let's put those back together. I mainly just wanna keep this wire off the motor because the motor does get hot. And there's my timer.